Welcome to the, the new Canal Side Cut Park, which we'll be dedicating shortly to Mayor Hugh Donnelly. And you can see behind us that uh, we've done a, a great job here on a very visible site, and we're able to uh, bring forward some of the past by showing some of the Erie Canal, which really uh, made Waterville what it was and put us on the map. Canal's historic significance to uh, the city and the arsenal uh, itself is undeniable. We have actually the original structure of the Erie Canal wall that runs right through the Water Valley Arsenal. It's one of the uh, one of the components, one of the amenities of the facility that just adds value to the historical significance of the arsenal. Yeah, I really want to commend the city of Water Valley for the dedication of this great park uh, to Mayor Donnelly and commend the Historical Society for what they have done to keep history alive. Up until we just opened the Erie Canal side cut park, uh, there was very little known about the Erie Canal and what its uh, significance it was to the uh, development of Waterville. So there was three villages when the Erie Canal first uh, uh, was constructed. What happened was the other two villages, Port Schuyler and Gibbonsville, decided to merge with West Troy and in 1836, because of the activity and all the business in the West Troy section, the city became West Troy. West Troy was a service center for the Erie Canal. It provided all the services for the canalers, the businessmen, the immigrants that went through. Well, the Erie Canal is part of our history, and it was a monumental event in the history of New York State and this nation back in the 1800s, and we shouldn't forget we shouldn't forget what the immigrants did to build this country the way it was and to have it the condition it's in now, the, the, the history of this great country. And the canal is part of that. And right here in Waterbleet, this is living history. 